The Last Samurai is a novel by Helen DeWitt that explores the theme of knowledge acquisition and the limitations of conventional education. The story centers around a single mother named Sibylla and her genius son, Ludo, who is obsessed with samurai culture and the Japanese language. Ludo's father is absent, and Sibylla struggles to provide for her son, but she is determined to help him achieve his dream of becoming a samurai scholar. One of the main themes of the novel is the idea that knowledge acquisition is not limited to traditional forms of education. Ludo is homeschooled by his mother, who is a self-taught intellectual with a deep love for literature and language. She teaches him using unconventional methods, such as having him memorize entire books, teaching him multiple languages simultaneously, and exposing him to a wide range of cultural and historical references. Sibylla believes that traditional education is inadequate for Ludo's unique intelligence, and instead, she helps him develop his own curriculum tailored to his interests and strengths. The novel also explores the concept of cultural appropriation and the ethics of knowledge acquisition. Ludo becomes deeply immersed in samurai culture, but he is not Japanese and has no direct connection to the culture. Sibylla recognizes the potential problems with Ludo's appropriation of samurai culture and takes steps to ensure that he is respectful of the culture and its history. She also tries to find ways for Ludo to engage with the culture in a meaningful way, such as having him correspond with a Japanese woman who shares his interests. Another important theme of the novel is the idea that individual pursuit of knowledge can be isolating and difficult. Ludo's passion for samurai culture sets him apart from his peers, and he struggles to find others who share his interests. He also experiences moments of intense frustration and loneliness as he strives to master the Japanese language and immerse himself in the culture. Sibylla is his only true companion, and their relationship is a complex one, filled with both love and intellectual challenge. The novel is also notable for its literary style and use of multiple languages. DeWitt incorporates a variety of literary and cultural references throughout the book, including Japanese poetry in literature, Shakespeare, and classical music. She also writes in multiple languages, including English, Japanese, and French, and switches between languages frequently throughout the novel. This stylistic choice emphasizes the book's themes of cultural exchange and language acquisition and adds depth and complexity to the narrative. Overall, The Last Samurai is a novel that explores the complexities of knowledge acquisition and the limitations of traditional education. It raises important questions about the ethics of cultural appropriation and the role of individual passion in intellectual pursuit. The relationship between Sibylla and Ludo is at the heart of the novel, and their story is both heartwarming and thought-provoking. The book's use of multiple languages and literary references is impressive, and it adds an extra layer of richness to the story. The Last Samurai is a novel that will appeal to anyone with an interest in language, culture, and intellectual pursuit.